Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PictureMonk.com and uh, I'm actually just traveling to Wilmington, North Carolina for a conference that I have to uh, document and take photo and video and stuff. Uh, it's for my company. But uh, I have about three hours of just sitting in, sitting in the car and I was listening to one of my photography podcasts and uh, it actually had to do with inspiration for photographers. And so I kind of wanted to make a quick video just kind of saying what my inspiration was and, and I want to know what yours are too. So in, in the comments down below, you know, list out some of your favorite photographers that, uh, that influence you. So my, uh, my very first one is actually more of a well-known uh, well known guy from uh, from recent and his name is Peter Lick. You've probably heard of him. He's the guy that sold the six point eight million dollar photo or something like that um, But his his photography is actually really nice, but it's not it's not necessarily his photography that I'm interested in I'm interested in the way he markets his stuff um, Even just even just uh, his website, you know, I like his website So you can check that out at lick.com lik.com uh, his website, the way he organizes it, the uh, uh, the type of video that he does, uh, even his video series uh, on the Weather Channel, for the folks that have that channel, he uh, he put that up there and he had a nice show where he showed how he got some photographs and they followed him around and that sort of thing. You know, it's just it's that kind of thing. His photos are really nice. Uh, I actually visited one of his galleries in Vegas a couple years back, and I, I really liked him but I'm more interested in his marketing. So uh, you can check his stuff out, like I said, at lick.com, L-I-K.com. Uh, the second photographer is uh, Mike Kelly. Uh, pro I think I talked about him on one of my one of my podcasts uh, a couple episodes, maybe a few episodes ago. Uh, he's more of a architectural real estate photographer, that kind of, that kind of thing. And his photos, the, the way he gets his photos is, is just great because he does a lot of comp, uh, composition stuff, uh, compositing, sorry, compositing, where he, uh, you know, takes tons and tons of photos of a certain element or a certain scene and light paints them with flash units and gels and stuff like that. And then uh, he puts it together in Photoshop and just composites it all. And it's just really cool to see. And I, I, like, the, I like the workflow of it. And uh, I've tried to, to do the light painting thing just based off what I've seen, and it's uh, it's not as easy as it looks. So uh, he actually has a course on uh, fstoppers.com that you can buy, and he kind of shows you uh, him going to a bunch of different locations and shows you how he gets his technique with the post processing and that sort of thing. So uh, you can check that out at I think m mpkelly.com. I think that's what it is. So that's sort of a, a, a cool inspirational thing. Uh, this, the third one is actually a YouTube channel, and it's not necessarily a photography thing, but it still gives me a lot of thoughts uh, to you know what to take photos of and how to how to put them all together and that sort of thing. And that's actually I think it's called Creative Station. Uh, it's a YouTube channel, so it's YouTube.com/slash Creative Station. Uh, I'll put a link to that just in case I get that wrong. But it's basically a um, it looks like it's a user submitted thing where they take a bunch of, uh, of photos and and whatnot and they put them all together and they do a bunch of composites so they make a make a fictional uh, fictional sort of scene and so they'll you know the last one I watched was uh, was where they took uh, they, they made an ocean and they had uh, cliffs on either either side and uh, had people over here on this clip, people over here on this cliff, and they were fighting or something like that. Um, not necessarily photography related, but it's Photoshop related where they put them all together. And it's just really cool to see the, the time lapse of how they do that because they'll do a time lapse of the whole thing from start to finish. So it's really cool to see that. The only thing I don't like about it too much is they do uh, they inter, uh, intermingle that with uh, drawings. So they'll somebody will draw in Photoshop as a character or something like that. So, uh, you know, I usually don't watch those, but the compositing in Photoshop, taken from a bunch of different photos, I do watch that. So, uh, like I said, I'll put a link to that in the show notes so you can check that out as well. So, that's it. I just wanted to kind of go over my inspiration. So, let me know your inspiration in the comments below. Always looking for, for cool things to, to, to check out in, re in regards to photography. So, um, appreciate that, guys. I will talk to you guys in the next video.